Hello there. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use XLOM to prepare a trend projection forecast. This question corresponds to problem 4.33 in your text. Here we're provided with the number of transistors in millions produced at a plant in Japan during the past five years, ranging from 140 million to 210 million. We have three objectives. The first is to forecast the number of transistors to be made next year using linear regression. Now, because this is not a causal model, right, we're not looking for causality here. So this means we're going to use a trend projection model, which is based on regression. And that means that our X variable is the year and Y variable is the number of transistors. We're also going to compute the mean squared error and the mean absolute percentage error. Now, because this requires a little bit of work and a lot of redundant calculations, we're going to illustrate this using XLOM. So we have our trusty XLOM opened. We'll click on the menu and then the toolbar by chapter. And here we want trend projection, because again, this is not a causal model. Call this, we are provided with five years of historical data and we'll leave the options off for now. Click OK. A model is created for us. So we have years one through five corresponding to periods one through five for value X. And then our Y values are the transistor sales. So 140 million or just 140 for the first year, 160, 190, 200, and 210. This would result in a forecast for period six or year six of 234 million transistors. We're also asked to determine the MSE and MAPE, but we might as well get all three. So the MSE is 32 or 32 million transistors, and the mean absolute percentage error is 2.65%, which is actually quite low, suggesting that this is a pretty good model based on the limited historical data that we have.